Well, congrats. Obviously, that was a, a huge win for you after such a long time away as well. So, I mean, give, give me the, the emotions of, of tonight. Ooh, it feels good. Uh, it feels really good after a year off. Um, uh, as if a year off wasn't enough anxiety, I had all these little turds on Instagram, like uh, saying, this is going to beat you and stuff like that. So uh, it feels good to kind of rub it in their face. But uh, um, it just feels amazing being here. Uh, Everything else is going to be amazing. I'm going to lay out at the pool, at the hotel, even tonight probably if I can get in there. But uh, <laughs> um, the rest of this trip to like go home is going to be amazing. Yeah. That's like you, you kind of touched on it a little bit, but I wondered if there were kind of some nerves going in, right? Like after all that time away, yeah. ABC, main card, two undefeated fighters. I mean, did this – like were there nerves coming in? Oh, 100%. There were nerves. Um, everyone kept asking me the whole time, like – uh, how do you feel about being undefeated? And I kept trying to brush it off, like, cool. But, yeah, man, um, as much as I said no, I don't think about being undefeated. Like, it, it's still in the back of your mind, and it still creeps in. So I, I just had to keep reiterating to others and myself that I, I don't focus on that. I focus on winning. And um, uh, I guess it somehow worked out. Yeah. You, you, you hit him early, right? I mean, he was hurt a couple times. What's going through your head is you're rocking him, and, and the dude just keeps coming at you. Oh, it was, it was crazy. Like, I would rock him, and next thing I know, his chest is in my face. He's clinching up with me. I'm like, dude, this guy is just like a blanket, you know? Like a – I don't know. It's, he was a tough guy. He, he was undefeated for a reason, and um, it, it just felt amazing to go out there and be able to do that against such an amazing fighter. Yeah. Like I said, everything's going your way, right? Everything's going good. And then the whole mouthpiece thing, and there's a timeout and a pause. What, what's going on through that? Because I wonder if it's difficult to kind of stay in the moment and stay focused, you know what I mean, or, or to potentially have your concentration broken. Yeah, um, I, I don't like to let my mind wander. I try to stay focused on the task. Um, if I was to start thinking, like, what's this guy doing? He's stalling. He's going to get his breath and get his wits back. You know, that's just excuses. Um, I don't, I don't want to make excuses. But a funny thing is uh, I heard Eric in my corner say, uh, you can't find his mouthpiece. It's a TKO. And I remember I, 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 <laughs> my eyes got big. I was like, really? Is that the rules? Like, <laughs> I don't know if it is so, the rule. I don't know either. I, I, I don't really even know the rules for MMA. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, obviously, this was a this was a big moment for you. So, give us the idea. What's next? I mean, are, are you, you need to make up for lost time and fight frequently? Are there names that you want to knock? I mean, what what's next for you? Um, I don't know. I, I'm never one to say names. Um, I just say yes to whoever I come across. Um, and I don't know. Next thing I know, honestly, uh, my boss over there, Eric. I work at Extreme Couture now, so I got to go back to work Tuesday. Uh, so if you are in Vegas, come to Extreme Couture and buy a membership from me. <laughs> uh, right here in the front. Yo. Uh, thoughts on getting the first finish of 2021 just in all of the UFC? Oh, man. Um, first finish of 2021 and on ABC. Um, it was amazing, you know? That's how I always want to um, set the tone. I want to set the tone for for the card. Um, I was the opener, and I – I wanted to set the tone, and I did set the tone. So it, it feels good to accomplish that. And I think you have a unique position where your last fight was in a full crowd, and then you didn't have any fights in an empty arena or in an empty apex, and now you're back in the first card with fans. So did it feel any different, or was it just another day at the office with fans? Um, another day at the office, but at the same time, it, it's always more empowering every time you get in there because the, I feel like the stakes are always a little bit higher. And um, – it felt really good, but that first fight, there were like 12 people there. I was, I was the very first fight of the night, so it felt like no one was there. <laughs> and then uh, going back to what you said about uh, being undefeated is always in the back of your mind. I think John Jones has said that before where that first loss, even though it was a DQ, might have been one of the better things that has happened to him because now mm -hmm. he's not thinking about it all the time. So is that O? Does it carry that much pressure in inside the octagon? If you let it – if you let it – um have that much pressure on you, Will. But uh, when I'm in there, no. Once the once I'm in there and the cage door closes, um, my brain shuts off every single time. And I know I'm going to perform to the best of my abilities and put on an even better performance than the last every single time I get in there. So I, I'm not worried. I just let my body and instincts take over. Did you see Alessio's knockout just now? In your uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Jeez, I I was so excited. I thought for sure, you know, I might get the bonus, but I was, I was, I was nice. <laughs> oh, true, true. I don't know, man. I, I'm new. <laughs> you mentioned, uh, you know, the absence of being out of the cage for a while. You mentioned it a couple of times now, and I'm wondering, 
how much pressure was that on you? Did you was there a point where you thought, am I ever getting back in there? Is it ever going to come? How, how how nervous were you just being stuck on the sides? Yeah, um, uh, the being on the sideline really hurt. Um, you can ask my girlfriend. No, there's a lot of times I kind of just snapped at her. Well, <laughs> like maybe we're watching fights, or maybe like I'm just like just on the couch in pain. And I can't move. And I I just look at her. I'm just like. <laughs> you know just get, get mad for no reason because I, I this is my uh my release you know I, mma it makes me feel good i love it i enjoy it and i was cooped up and i couldn't do nothing but uh it just feels amazing to be back here i was about to say so with that in mind does this one just feel is this like the nicest victory feeling you've ever had yeah every fight is the the, the best victory i've ever had you know and um especially after that year off it just lets me know that i can overcome anything and no matter how long i'm out i'm, I'm always going to perform once i get in there what exactly do you do at extreme couture uh, i work the front desk um <laughs> uh i had to pick up a little job uh because the money was running short and whatnot but uh yeah come through buy a membership and we can train what deals do you have on memberships um great deals i'll i'll cut your um your enrollment fee by a couple dollars. Not too much, but wow. a couple dollars, yeah. <laughs> if you get the bonus, do you quit on, on Monday? No. <laughs> no, I actually really like the job. Uh, I, I envision in my head like uh, going to work that next day and just giving every member like a fish bump, like, like good job, man, good job, you're the man. And it's, it's going to come true now, so it's going to feel good to do that. Congratulations on the win, bro. Oh, thank you, thank you. After a year off, did you expect the fight to go like that? So quick, so brutal, and against such a strong competitor. Was that always the game plan? Yeah, that's always my game plan. Um, as far as what they're going to do, I can't control it. Um, but I'm just going to go in there, do me, do my thing, and try to put it on people and break people. Very cool. And can you just talk to me briefly about your relationship with Eric Nixit? Because we see him coaching some of the best athletes in the world. Just how integral is he to your career? Yeah, um, it's funny. Uh, I call him Poppy. Uh, <laughs> he always uh, says, come come to Poppy's office. And I go, oh, yes, Poppy. And I go to his office. Um, but not just Eric, uh, Nate Pettit over there. When I first came to the gym, uh, Nate Pettit kind of took me under his wing, got me a job. And um, kind of like forced me to train. I, I remember I was like scared to come to the gym, like kind of here and there, you know, and Nate would just kind of put it on me like, where are you? Why, why are you not at practice? And just keep me accountable. That's awesome. Thank you, my friend. Yep. I know. Okay, Thank you.